you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an empties video. I haven't filmed an empties video in basically two months, a little bit over two months. So I'm like, let's get all the DM let's get all these empties. Let's speak about them. I'm so so excited. Let's dive right into it. I have this giant. I want to show you giant um, box in which I collect all my empties. If you've been here for a few years, you've seen this a couple of times. I used to show these more often earlier. In my empties videos, I don't as much always these days, but I just thought today let's do an OG OG empties video. Also, if you hear my office phone ringing in the background, I'm really, really sorry. Um, anyways, let's dive right into this. So, um, what should we start with? I see a lot of products in here, which I'm going to probably um, save for my most repurchased products video that I do um, every six months. So that you will see in my next MDS video. Let's quickly talk about this, which I actually recently used up. This is the Plum Body Love and Body Yogurt, which I absolute freaking utterly, absolute freaking utterly love. This specific variant though is not my favorite. This is the Drive in Me Cherry scent, and I thought I would really really love this because I love the shower gel in this particular variant. But the body yogurt did not actually smell the best to me it smelled very very artificial um kind of plasticky in a way of sorts so i didn't love the body yogurt in this variant i love the hawaiian rumba which i'll not show you today i'll show you all my empties in the june video but yeah this formulation in general i really really love for body creams especially in the summer right now it'll be absolutely amazing i will tell you though that sometimes when i use this I feel like by like midday post lunch my skin might feel a little I want to say like I don't want to say dry but it does start feeling a little bit parched so um, that could be a good thing if you don't want something super heavy in the morning but I am looking for alternatives um, for this as well because even though I want something lightweight I don't want something that is just gonna keep my skin moisturized for a couple of hours and then I'll start feeling a little parched and dry so I am looking for alternatives but I still love the formulation overall in general just not this specific variant so would not be repurchasing this one um what else should I show you okay another product this is very very disappointing to show you and I might have one more um to show you as well so I have two tubes actually this is the deconstruct skincare um ceramide skin soothe moisturizer you will be shocked to know that I will actually not be repurchasing this. Even though in the past I have raved a lot about this, I want to tell you my thoughts have changed a little bit on this because recently I opened a new tube of this hoping that I'm gonna love it and like, you know, use it. But when I squeezed up product, it literally came like a super duper runny fluid. So I don't know if it was a specific batch that was not you know very good um it definitely had not stayed in my collection for a long time maybe just a couple of months but um and it was not anywhere close to expiry i did check that but i was just not happy to see that the formulation is not consistent and it had been a long time since i had ordered it i don't even remember if i ordered ordered it from the website or from sublime life so for me to go back and exchange it would just be a hassle so i didn't want to do that also it had been a few months so they probably would not take exchanges at that point but yeah i was not happy with the way the formulation like it was just not the actual product you know like this is a cream okay this is not a runny fluidy lotion or anything so it was definitely not a good product and the entire tube was like that okay it was not like thoda sa separate ho gaya tha ya kuch wo pura ka pura kharab ho gaya tha so i was very very disappointed to see that and i would not be repurchasing the repurchasing this no would i recommend it anymore because i don't want to recommend something to you and then you end up getting a bad product like i don't want to be doing that so unfortunately would not be repurchasing would not recommend this one to you also i have another moisturizer this one is from syrian skincare i really really like this but because i have so many moisturizer favorites i would not be repurchasing this this is the hydrating cloud cream um i prefer the blue one which should also be your um i did end up using it up for that one 
I would probably um, end up repurchasing if I get a good price on it or a good discount or something like that. This one is a little bit more thicker and heavier and I have mentioned this in past videos. The consistency of this is like somewhere between the Barrier Relief from Formula RX and the Peptide Ceramide from Formula RX. Peptide Ceramide is more of a nighttime moisturizer for me. Barrier Relief is day and night both. This is not as um, lightweight as Barrier Relief. But it's not as thick and heavy as peptide ceramide so it's a really in between like weird um you know i don't know where to put this exactly kind of a thing so that's the reason i would not be repurchasing it because i don't want to you know repurchase it just because i like the product but then i don't know where to use it and it doesn't work either ways for me so i would rather repurchase my formula rx moisturizers which i love so much but i want to tell you because like it's a small brand i want to support them i want to be you know nice and encouraging so i will tell you if you want to get something get the illuminating water cream if you have more normal oily skin you will love that product truly i'm even wearing it today right now love 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 it so so much highly recommend then a face wash again that is not my absolute favorite it was nice i enjoyed using it it's the dot and key sika and calming blemish clearing face wash i love the watermelon one this one was okay for me i feel like it was the same but not as good and if i had to compare between the two i prefer that one so i won't repurchase this i'll repurchase that but this is a really nice calming face wash it's a gel consistency the same things that i say for the watermelon one also apply to this one as well where a little goes a long way it's not gonna dry your skin out it's gonna feel nice i would not call it a blemish clearing face wash because i don't think any face wash can help with pimples truly what can help is salicylic acid products regularly moisturizing your skin because a lot of times i have noticed this personally if i am in a situation which is not my regular life maybe i'm outside i'm traveling i'm hiking or i am on an accidental night out i i should not say accidental unplanned is a better word <laughs> accidental makes me sound really shady of sorts um if i'm on an unplanned night out where i don't have my skincare with me i just have to take my like you know just use a face wash borrow someone's face a face wash or something and take my makeup off and go to bed without a moisturizer i will wake up the next morning with you know sort of blemishes and breakouts and all of that stuff just because my skin needs to be moisturized um it cannot not be moisturized you know so Anyways, I'm going on a tangent. All I'm trying to say is that a face wash cannot help with um, breakouts. So that's something that you need to keep in mind. Don't fall into the marketing. I definitely understand it's very easy to fall into this marketing because I've fallen for it like so many times for years now. So that's why I want to tell you don't fall into the blemish clearing face wash marketing. Um, and definitely check out the watermelon face wash instead of this if you're looking to purchase any which ways. I felt like I spoke about that for a while and I didn't even have much to say specifically but uh, yeah what else do we have we have this this is the Purito BHA dead skin moisture gel now this is one that I bought from an Instagram store I'm pretty sure because I wanted to get Purito and I don't think this is available on other K-beauty websites that do sell Purito it was a really really nice product i used it as a spot treatment and because this comes with so much product it comes with 100 ml this lasted me years honestly so that is absolutely amazing it's a very 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 gentle bha uh, so i do really really like about really really like that about it but uh, to buy this you obviously have to go through a hassle of purchasing through an instagram store who's going to give you a good price and um, you can definitely find um smaller um like if you're someone who doesn't always break out um you it'll probably take you a long time to go through this and i don't want you to buy a big product that's going to take you forever to use it'll probably expire before you use it up so if that is the case definitely go for smaller spot treatments like more is not always better you know if it's if you're not going to be able to re like use it up before it goes bad rather just repurchase smaller ones instead of buying like a big daddy size and also it's a hassle to buy because it's not that easily available so that's another reason i wouldn't like highly highly recommend it but it was a great product and i loved using it when i had it that is that 
what else do we have we have this also the deconstruct nice and my brightening face wash i used this one up completely again love the face wash i mean i wouldn't say loved i like the face wash it was it did the job it cleansed my skin really well did not make my face feel super dry but maybe a little bit especially when you compare to the hydrating face wash from this line which i much 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 prefer highly recommend that one over this one the salicylic acid one as well as the niacinamide one are okay the hydrating one is the best in my opinion personally so i would repurchase that and i would recommend that i wouldn't repurchase this and in terms of recommending i told you it's just a basic face wash not too 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 mind blowing so keep that in mind and you can decide for yourself um moving on next what do we have what do we have i feel like so many products over here in this basket that i have are all products that i would repurchase and recommend so okay let me quickly talk about this i wanted to mention this in one of the like i'm going to repurchase this and i would highly recommend it i think i've even spoken about that uh, spoken about the fact that i'll probably repurchase it but i have changed my mind a little bit this is the dot and key um, vitamin c glow avalon lemon and verbena body serum lotion um even though i absolutely love the packaging also this is a little gross so now i've gotten my hands gross uh, but Like I was saying, this is a very nice, gentle, lightweight body lotion that I really, really like. But I have discovered that um, for you to be able to completely use every single last drop of product out of your, will be a little bit difficult because of the cute but very, like, different packaging, and it's a little hard to get product out of this sometimes because it's hard to like squeeze things out of this. Basically, that is what the problem is, and um, the scent. while i am not the biggest fan of it i don't dislike it either but when you look at the price the value the discounts and i've been doing a lot of comparison these days on different um, product categories and like comparing my favorites price per ounce um, or price per gram in them um, i have discovered that this is probably the more expensive as compared to a lot of my other favorites and this is also something that similar to the body yogurt that i mentioned earlier it's something that um you will apply it's super duper lightweight so it's very comfortable when you first apply but throughout the day it's not like a long lasting hydration and moisture you know what i mean so that's the reason i feel like it's not worth it to pay that extra price and then not even get long lasting hydration you know so that's the reason i won't be repurchasing this is because i just don't feel like it would be worth it for me let me take out some of my other you know products that i'm not going to be talking about in today's video because i'm saving all of them okay let's talk about this i am not sure by the way oh yeah i broke the lid i was finding the lid inside but i don't actually have the lid because i broke it accidentally after this was over basically and i guess this is the product that has created a slight oil mess inside this is the plum hemp cleansing oil i am not 100% sure whether i will repurchase this or not if i'm going to be honest because i did not like it initially eventually i got used to it and um, it's not much of a problem and it's a very affordable uh, makeup remover that's also something that i do want to keep in mind when i am uh, deciding what to purchase so what to repurchase sorry so uh, this is one that takes off your makeup really really well initially it was sting my eye but then later on i kind of discovered how to not make it sting my eye is to not go super close to the lash line and go very gently around it so that the oil doesn't get inside your eye and it works perfectly fine um it does kind of run down your hand sometimes when you're trying to wash your face um and that can be a little bit inconvenient but if i'm using it in the shower i'm anyways like not wearing any clothes and um, i don't mind it running down myself that time so again keeping in mind how you're taking off your makeup where you're taking off your makeup if it's convenient for you or not if it's not so much of an inconvenience to you i would definitely recommend it and i've discovered that even though i have other face wash um, not face washes other cleansing balms and makeup removers that i might like more than the plum ones um, including the cleansing balm and the cleansing oil these are the more affordable ones in the range in general and uh, you know 
combining it with other offers and discounts and coupons and points and this and that these end up being much cheaper long term so i have to consider that when i'm spending my own money on these things you know so that's why i might repurchase this i'm still not sure if i don't find a better value and deal with others i'll probably come back to this so let's see what ends up happening with that then i have the sunscoop matte sunscreen spf 60 now this one i have shared with you in past videos as well is not my absolute favorite sunscreen i found this to be very um thick did not blend well into my skin definitely gave me like a weird layer on top of my face did not blend in well that in uh pilled on my skin as well you have to be very specific with what you're using with this and um, you know how it interacts with other skincare products also uh, even though the packaging might look super cute it's actually difficult to get product out of this once you're done with it and uh, it's also not one that you can like cut open or anything so it's going to be difficult for me to even recycle this for that reason you know because I don't know if this is completely clean. I don't want to send this for recycling and then they will just toss it away. I mean, eventually that's going to happen. I tossing or them tossing is not going to make much of a difference, but it's actually a little inconvenient in terms of the packaging from those aspects. So even though it's super cute and convenient and like you can slip this into your bag and all of that stuff, the packaging is not actually my favorite. So um, from the sustainability angle. So yeah. Overall, in general, I would not repurchase this for myself and it's also difficult for me to recommend this because I didn't have a good experience. But I know a lot of people out there do like the sunscreen a lot. So if if you've tried it, let me know if you like it or not. Um, and I would just say that if you want a review on this, go to someone else because I don't have a good review to share uh, with you and I don't have a good experience either. So that's that, unfortunately, but yeah, that didn't work out what else do we have what else do we have um do i have anything else hmm, i do have this and then trying to collect some last few products that i could possibly talk about because all the others i'm just gonna save for my my video yeah i have oh i do have a few things just the last few smaller travel size things i have two um like travel size body moisturizers one is from eco botanics um this is the white tea and honey uh soothing lotion this is something that i got gifted from a friend uh, who knows that i'm like traveling a lot and i like travel size um body lotions for that time so she was like i have a bunch of samples that her dad got from abroad or something so she was like you can have it so she gave it to me and i used it and it was nice it was okay and then this is one that i guess i got from Regis when i was staying there not on my own but um i was there for an event and the team kind of let us have the room because you know post like 12 one o'clock at night it's difficult to travel from local over Perel to Andheri so um, they they helped us out with that so we were living there um, for a night or two and this is from the June Jacobs spa collection this you guys smells amazing I've stayed there for a couple of nights and every single time I use these in the morning and when you have like half used tubes you can't necessarily leave it there because they'll obviously throw it away so i'm like might as well let me just take this home um this is the green tea and cucumber body balm it is so amazing again very very lightweight but very very fresh smelling definitely something that you would get at a spa um so the spa collection like definitely makes sense if you're ever staying at the regis get these um ask them for a couple of extras because obviously you're paying an arm and a leg for that room so you can definitely get yourself some extra body moisturizers because this was amazing truly truly amazing was it wait was it lalit or was it Regis that i got this from i'm not sure because i've stayed a couple of times lalit more than Regis, but was this lalit now i'm i'm now i'm getting confused I don't remember which one now I'm, I'm a little bit confused but I have quite a few of these um, you know 
in, in my house per se so yeah these two i completely used up then i have another travel product this is the dr belmer um from face shop this i don't i don't even know if this collection is like around anymore this is their foaming cleanser uh back in the day when i was not cruelty free i still purchased from the face shop especially when like all the marketing campaigns were going around all the bloggers were going crazy i think i bought from the face shop in 2020 if i'm not mistaken and i remember going to our city in lifestyle they had a counter was it our was it lifestyle or was it shopper stop again i'm getting a little confused either of those two stores had a face shop counter and i went there and bought a bunch of stuff in fact the sa also had become like really good friends with me at that point so she gave me a bunch of samples this was one of them and if i was not cruelty free you guys i would definitely purchase a full size of this face wash because it's absolutely amazing nice gel consistency so so refreshing i did use it up completely when whenever i used to travel i used to always carry this with me and use it and i loved it so 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 freaking much it's a 30 ml so it's not like a teeny tiny one you get a lot of product and like i said a little goes a long way so i absolutely loved 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 using it if this line is still around in other countries um or if you end up traveling and you find this somewhere and if you're not cruelty free definitely check this out because it was amazing truly 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 amazing so yeah that's that then we have the requi ultra touch uh, ultra matte dry touch sunscreen gel now back in the day when all these other new sunscreens weren't around um this one got a lot of hype so i did try it out and this is a very old empty that's been lying in this bin for years i believe but yeah i did use it i did like it but it's not one that i would repurchase because now there are so many new formulations that i much 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 prefer so much more to this one that it just doesn't make sense for me to be repurchasing this one because i like those more so yeah that's that then we have the avon uh, clear skin blemish clearing spot on instant gel again this is one that i've had and it just flew out of my hand this is one that i've been having in this bin for a long time again i don't purchase from avon anymore even though i have been a rep and i still am technically a rep um but yeah i don't purchase from avon anymore because of the mlm structure as well as and i will tell you avon at least for me personally in my experience being a rep the, it's not a toxic mlm culture at least for me i've not had a, like you know bad experience or anything but um i don't want to support that kind of company um so yeah if they had a different structure if they would just be a regular retailer like d2c or something then that would make more sense and then i probably wouldn't feel as bad supporting them but um, yeah keeping all of that aside just this product in general in spe- i mean specifically i used it and i liked it but it was not something that i saw a lot of results with or something that i'm like oh my god i have to repurchase this no matter what because it's that good that did not happen i just used it i liked it i was like okay theek hai spend the money just finish it up but uh, not something that wowed me and then uh, we have something from disrupt skincare oh this is the retinol i thought it was a salicylic acid i don't think the salicylic acid is your but the retinol i actually really really liked i remember when i first used the ultra the one and then i wanted a more affordable alternative i did look into this but i don't be really, i'm not sure about like is disrupt still around because when i tried to get some of the things online like the vitamin c and all um i could not really actually buy any of them and then even the niacinamide and the salicylic acid like none of them are actually available anymore easily on amazon it just so shows like sold out or it tells you like you know try ordering this later or something like that so i'm not sure if amazon is not stocking it anymore and i know amazon was the only retailer selling it they don't have a direct website that you can purchase from so i'm not really sure what's the whole deal with this is it around is it not around but i did like using it i used it but since it's apparently not as easily available anymore i obviously will not be repurchasing it because technically i can't even do that but yeah those are all the things i feel like i was talking about all of them a lot which is why this video is 24 minutes long but i could not cover as many products that being said i covered everything that i wanted to because all the other things in this empties 
bin you're going to be seeing in the month of june for my most gorgeous products video so yes that is that that is it for the video i really hope that you guys enjoyed watching and if you did please make sure to subscribe to my channel like this video comment down below let me know your thoughts and if you like watching empty's videos and that's going to be it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching you guys until next time bye bye bye